Previously, the mm -hmm. AI was working by a state, a basic state machine mm -hmm. with a bunch of different states of job kind. And the problem with that is that every job needs to know how to switch to other jobs, okay. which is causing it to scale really badly and making it impossible for me to customize the behavior of particular norms to say, I want you to be more, I don't want you to, I don't want the combat norms to know how to farm. I don't want the farming norms to know how to fight, you know, that mm -hmm. type of issue. So... I decided to switch. Why aren't they allowed to be well-rounded Individual. individuals? <laughs> do you it's really? Okay, they don't do need you brain. really? They do don't you, need do you really want SpongeBob to be a well-rounded individual? No. <laughs> Either way, um, so we decided to shift to a fuzzy logic system, which basically says checks all the behaviors that I currently have, mm -hmm. gets a current priority, and turns them into a percentage, and does a basic weighted random on them which is really simple uh, to implement, actually, if you've never done that before. Um, so you just sum up the total, make it, choose a target value, and just keep going through them until you find the volume you need. The reason why it can't be equal to zero is because I take it to mean that it has zero probability it means there's zero chance of it happening. If you want to have a slight change of happening, you just put a very small number, and then mm -hmm. it will happen if there's nothing else to do. Okay. Anyhow, Bobby. Isn't that how you get the things where, like, your people are doing really weird things, and you're like, oh, wait, that's like a a very tiny percent chance it'll happen. That, yeah. Is that? That's what I was about to bring that up. How I was just like, oh, that you shouldn't. <laughs> so, the way I've been working on that is by adding some, by adjusting the priorities. Mm -hmm. So, there are large differences between the priorities. If it should be doing something, there will be a very high percentage that that will happen. Okay. Um,. And also by just print, having them, you know, have a debug, a better debug soon. As you see, these farmers are being diligent farmers until they see me, in which case they run away. Um, the reason why they're running away badly is because right now, um, you can call start behavior multiple times. And if I scare him enough, he will go into a panic state and generally, like, you know, just stop and pray. Flee <laughs> uh, <laughs> for my mercy. Um... So they, 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 these, the behaviors for these farmers is actually surprisingly simple. Um, and that, that's kind of why I like this new system is I can just go, let's say the farm behavior. Mm -hmm. So it's really simple. You just unbegin, I find a plant. Um, then I go to the plant. And then when I get to the plant, I harvest the plant. Um, and, you know, make sure that the plant still has stuff to harvest. Worth it is usually set to about 10%, so I'll just keep harvesting the plant until I get 10%. Mm -hmm. uh, until it's at 10%, and then I'll stop harvesting it. Um, that's basically, it had to have a, I had to have a cutoff threshold because the plant was regenerating while you were harvesting it, and then they would never stop harvesting. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, so that's a pretty basic behavior that the farmers are all doing right now. Well, that one's freaking out because I'm nearby. So the funny thing is, is that these norbs, here, let me throw them off a cliff. All right, so threw all my norms off the cliff. Um, um so it actually I, by myself, I'm less scary. Um, like I have to get really close to him before he's like he gets a whip of my bo and runs away. Um, the flea behavior is also pretty simple. You evaluate the spots, which basically does a sum of of the dis of one over the distance to the nearest scary thing. So in order to calculate the possible locations. I just go above my, I put a point above my head, um, and then on a circle, I randomly choose points on, inside a circle with a radius of flea range, and I shoot okay. down, and I choose those points. Okay. So then I evaluate all those points on that circle, and the best one, I run to it. On start, it will choose the point. If you notice, every once in a while, they'll go, when there's nothing left to do, they'll usually just go and smell the flowers. And I found out that those were all really similar. So I had I created a new behavior called seek behavior, which literally just says go to this thing, um, and then do something with it. Uh, so that that behavior pattern is used. Oh God, I started the house on fire on accident. Uh, accidentally. <laughs> accidentally burning down the home. Oh well. Um. Oh yeah, I this works properly now. Um. So like as you see, he's just deposited some more food, but not very much. Um, so mm -hmm. that I barely get any yeah. that my bar can hold a hundred food, uh, that, that thing can hold 50, um, and it was half full about, oh God, SpongeBob stole me. Um, yeah. 
blood rage behavior is a scary thing. Um, kind of ignores physics right now to murder me. Um, or your little people came back. Yeah, I switched. I switched them to a physics-based, a fully physics-based uh, movement system, so I can do cool shit like, uh, you know, rocket jumping and, and whatnot, and also, you know, uh, which is fun, uh, I think. And um, here, get over here, you norms. Okay, so as you notice, um, if they're the thing is that these guys were too small to climb upstairs before, so I made them hop. Whenever they are uh, trying to climb up a stair mm -hmm. and it's too big, then they just hop up the stairs. I think that's really cute. So, nice. Um, and a, a weird little bug that I found in Unity is that because this is a SketchUp model, mm -hmm. uh, the normals all because it uses backface rendering. So, like, even though it's visible, uh, Unity doesn't necessarily know uh, the physics of raycast will only check the front face. They actually raycast uh, down and up when they're checking if there's a stair in front of them. Ah. Yeah. Eventually, I hope to use a DQN for the enemy behavior to make them, like, have them be smart. That's why, I, that's another benefit of using all these behaviors separately. They can, it's easier, better set up for ML. I, basically, I fixed the performance issues by, oh, God. <laughs> don't, I hope he doesn't, don't be. Use uh, the launch pad to get away from him. Anyhow, um, yeah. So I'm going to do another round of optimizations, which is basically just caching things properly, and so I don't have to compute things more than once a frame. And yeah, that's it.